Hey you are watching Ali Aziz YouTube channel. Top 30 Tally Interview Questions and Answers for Fresh and Experienced Candidates 1. Explain what is Tally and where it can be used. Tally is a software for accounts and inventory management, which is used for performing many functions like Performing all basic accounting functions, estimating job costing, storing details and managing inventory items, managing payroll filing tax return, managing profit and loss statement. Preparing a balance sheet, VAT forms, trial balance, cash flow report, etc. Maintaining budget scenarios, calculating interest on the outstanding amount, managing data over different locations and synchronize it too. Mention what is the shortcut to retrieve the last line which is removed in Tally ERP 9. To recover the last line which is removed, shortcut used is Control plus U. 3. Mention what is the shortcut to select the credit note voucher in Tally ERP 9. Press on F8, Central plus F8. It enables you to select the credit note voucher in Tally ERP 9. 4. Mention what is the difference between Tally ERP 9 and Tally 7.2. Tally 7.2 It is an integrated solution that provides a function related to accounting. Reporting and inventory This version includes VAT, Value Added Tax, functionality. Licensing and tax deduction at source it is widely used because of simplifying VAT. Service tax and TDS formalities it provides two licensing, single user licensing and multi-user licensing Tally ERP 9 it is an upgraded version of Tally 7.2 and provides many features like TDS, payroll management, excise for dealers, etc. This version includes handling of POS invoicing, statutory and taxation, payroll, multilingual support, etc. It is more popular because of providing advanced inventory management and simplifying accounting. It is available in two edition Tally Silver, single user edition, and Tally Gold, multi user edition. 5. Mention when you create a company in Tally ERP 9. What information does directory stores? Directory in Tally ERP 9 specifies the path where the company data will be stored. 6. What is the shortcut to duplicate a voucher and to add a voucher in Tally ERP 9? To duplicate a voucher, use shortcut keys ALT plus 2 to add a voucher, use shortcut keys ALT plus A. 7. Mention what features are available in Tally ERP 9 for accounting. For accounting Tally ERP 9 offers Outstanding management cost, profit centers management, invoicing budget, scenario management, other features like check printing, etc. 8. Mention what are the two predefined ledger available in Tally ERP 9. In Tally ERP 9, there are two types of predefined ledgers, cash. Under the group cash in hand this ledger is created. You can enter the opening balance as on the books beginning from profit and loss account. This ledger is created under the group primary. In this ledger, previous year's profit or loss is entered as the opening balance of this ledger. 9. What is the shortcut to cancel a day book or list of vouchers in Tally ERP 9? In Tally ERP 9, shortcut to cancel a day book or list of vouchers is ALT plus X. 10. Mention what are the functional enhancement or features included into Tally ERP 9? Emailing option. Users can send accounting reports to multiple recipients along with an additional facility like net banking and printing in various format as provided. Accounting Voucher A new type of numbering feature is added to the voucher. It ensures that the voucher or numbered sequentially print bank transaction details. It provides an option to take the print of bank details on formal receipt credit limits. 
the credit limit control set for a party ledger will not be applied on sales order. A warning or alert message will pop up on the credit limit and user can still save the voucher CST. Even in a simple format the CST form details entered in the invoice will get printed excise for manufacturers. All details related to buyers and suppliers can be displayed in the voucher also daily stock register can be maintained according to date wise, multi items types and tariff wise inventory vouchers. For inventory section, you can now mention the go down address and also print the name payroll. New tally ERP 9 enables processing of salary according to the National Pension Scheme Service Tax. Under Journal Vouchers, the taxable amount, taxable percentage and notification number will be showed in the service tax details. Auto adjustment of service tax payable can be done against service tax input credit and SENVOT VAT option. Recording multiple items with different VAT rates is possible by configuring the setting of default accounting allocations for selected item in invoice. Tax Audit Form like 3CB, 3CD and 3CA have been updated as per the requirements of CBDTXBRL. The document is constrained to only those companies that have the nature of the report set to consolidated. 11. Mention what are the types of ledger you can make in Tally ERP 9. The types of ledger you can make in Tally ERP 9 are Creating a sales purchase ledger, creating an income expense ledger, creating a party ledger, creating bank account, creating a tax ledger, creating a current liabilities 12. Mention what is the shortcuts. For voucher creation and alteration screen in Tally ERP 9. For Tally ERP 9, to create any master, ledger, stock item, on the voucher or alteration screen, you have to enter ALT plus C. To alter or configure any master item on a voucher, you have to select specific ledger or stock item on the sales voucher screen and press CTRL plus ENTER. 13. What is the shortcut to filter the information based on the monetary value almost from all report screens in Tally ERP 9? To filter the information based on the monetary value in Tally ERP 9, you can use the shortcut ALT plus F12. 1-4. Mention what are the types of Tally ERP 9 vouchers. Also give the shortcut for creating this vouchers. Types of Tally ERP 9 vouchers include Contra voucher to F4. It indicates the transfer of funds from bank account to the cash account or cash account to bank account, or one bank to another bank account payment voucher to F5. It describes payment histories like payment of salary or office rental receipt voucher to F6. This voucher describes any transaction that involves the receipt like payment made to the bank journal voucher to F7. It includes the expenses to maintain the business or company running like expenses made after marketing sales invoice voucher to F8. This voucher describes the sales made. It displays the sale invoice credit note voucher to Central plus F8 entry in this voucher is made in when customer returns some items due to incorrectly dispensed purchase voucher to F9. Entry in this voucher is made when any item is purchased for running the business debit note voucher to Central plus F9. Entry in this voucher is made when goods are sent back to the suppliers due to damage or goods expired reversing journals to F10. It is special journal entry that is automatically reversed after the date of the journal memo voucher to CNTRL plus F10. Entry in this voucher is made to display the unknown expense at that moment of time and can be converted to actual sale voucher, or it can also be deleted. 1-5. Mention what is the shortcut to recall the last narration saved for the first ledger in the voucher. 
The shortcut to recall the last narration stored for the first ledger in the voucher is all plus R. 16. Explain how to set up an employee in Tally ERP 9 for their payroll. To process employees' salaries, Tally ERP 9 give facility to create the required groups and classify into different categories like employee category, employee groups and employees. Employee group creation. Under employee group creation screen to select primary cost category as the category name the employees group as sales, select the group as primary, and then click on accept to finish with employee. Group creation employee master. Under employee master you can include all the details about the employees like statutory details, passport and visa details, contract details etc. 1.7. Explain what features you can use to convert data in encrypted form in Tally ERP 9. To convert data in encrypted form in Tally ERP 9, you can use function Tally Vault. To use Tally Vault you to go to the gateway of Tally and press F3 and there you can select the company for which you want to encrypt the data. Only persons having valid password can view those encrypted data. 18. Explain what trial balance is and how you check trial balance in Tally ERP 9. Trial balance is basically a summary of all the ledger balances and checks whether the figures are correct and balanced. It is a way to confirm that the journal entries are correctly posted to the general ledger. In trial balance, the total of all debts balances should be equal the total of all the credit balances. 1.9. Explain what is the default configuration Tally ERP 9 provides for balance sheet. Balance sheet in Tally ERP 9 will display two columns with liabilities and assets. The balance sheet displays the closing balances of all the primary groups or capital accounts and the net profit for the period. 20. Mention how you can view the books of accounts in Tally ERP 9. To view the books of accounts, you have to press D at the gateway of Tally ERP 9 to bring up the display menu at the display menu. Press A to bring up the accounts books menu 21. Mention what is the shortcut to select the purchase order voucher type. To select the purchase order voucher type, at accounting and inventory voucher creation and alteration screens, you can shortcut as Alt plus F4. 2.2. How can you copy text from Tally? You can use the shortcut Ctrl plus Alt plus C to copy text and shortcut Ctrl plus Alt plus V to paste text. 23. Mention what are the options available in Account Books menu in Tally ERP 9. Account Books menu include Bank Book S. Cash Book S. Ledger Group Summary Sales Register Purchase Register Journal Register 24. What does the Statement of Inventory be used for? Statement of Inventory is used to view the reports on inventory based on go-downs. Tracking details of items according to the inventory. Also, to query on stock and check out the budget's forecasts and plans, statistics, etc. 25. How can you check company statutory details? You can use the shortcut Ctrl plus Alt plus B to check statutory details from any screen. 2.6. Explain in Tally ERP 9 how you can view profit and loss statement. To view the profit and loss statement, click F1. Detailed and it will display the information based on the default primary groups. With every transaction, voucher that is entered is updated instantly. 2.7. Explain how you can generate Schedule 6 profit and loss account using Auditor's Edition of Tally ERP 9. Using Auditor's Edition of Tally ERP 9, the Schedule 6 balance sheet can be generated. For that, Go to the gateway of Tally to audit and compliance to financial statements to profit and loss account press Ctrl plus 3 to load the previous year's company to generate the Schedule 6 profit and loss account with 2. 
Years Data 28, mention what are the requirements to connect Tally ERP9 remotely. Remote connectivity for Tally ERP9 is very useful feature to connect remotely you have. At the customer end valid internet connection a licensed version of Tally ERP9 with a Tally.net subscription create and authorize remote users for a company that has to be operated remotely for. Remote access load and connect the company to Tally.net for remote access at the remote location valid internet connection a licensed version of Tally ERP 9A valid password and user ID to access the software. 29. Mention what is the shortcut to repeat the narration on a voucher. To repeat the narration on a voucher, press Ctrl plus R. 30. Explain what is group in Tally ERP9. Group is a collection of ledgers of the same nature. In the business, expenses like electric bills, telephone bill, conveyance, etc. are commonly included in groups. Ledger based on these expenses are created to be used while accounting vouchers are entered.